Hello YouTube, welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to install a Suzuki aftermarket grill. Note that this video was specific to a G-Wagon style grill, but the process will be slightly different for other grills. If you are applying any badges to the grill, it will be best to do this before commencing the installation. Visit your local hardware store for some ideas on fixing it to your grill. Tools needed Flat head screwdriver, a plastic removal tool, Phillips head screwdriver and a long nose pliers. Step 1. Unplug the turn signal lights from the left and the right. This is easily achievable without removing the airbox, but if you have to, remove it by loosening these two bolts. I managed to squeeze my hands in easily and press the release clip by feeling my way around. Step 2. This step is optional. Before removing the grill, test if your new turn signal lights are functional. Easily plug them in and turn on the hazards. Now remove the lights and set aside to attach to the grill later. Step 3. Remove the top two push screws using a small flat screwdriver or a plastic removal tool. Pull the clip up, gently releasing the screws. Step 4. Turn the two square clips situated under the grill clockwise one click. Step 5. Gently pull on the grill to remove the clips. This is probably the most difficult part. As I pulled the grill loose from the body, I could feel the root or the next loose clip and followed that direction. Step 6. Set the original grill next to your new grill. Now we need to transfer a few parts over from the old grill to the new grill. Install the white clip supplied with the new grill. I found some of the white clips supplied difficult to slide into the brackets, but it eventually worked. I also used a glove as the clips became sharp as I applied pressure to it. If you struggle, move on to the next clip, eventually it works. Transfer the bottom mounting brackets to the new grill. This is done by removing the bracket from the old grill using a tool to gently lift the clip. Keep this clip safe with your old grill. Now let's remove the bottom square clip. This is achieved by turning the clip so that the press hooks are facing up. Then use your pliers and gently squeeze the clip, releasing it from the bracket. Step 8. Mounting the new bracket to the grill, push the square clip into the new bracket and use the screw supplied to attach the bracket to the new grill. Step 9. Unscrew the top brackets from the old grill and reattach to the new grill with the same screw. This bracket and screw was not supplied with the new grill. Attach the left and right lights by noting the L and R symbols on each light. Use the supplied screws. Step 11. If you are installing badging, ensure that everything is secured and tight as you will not be able to make major adjustments to positioning once the grill is attached to the car. Step 12. Attaching the grill to the car. Make things easy by plugging the turn signal lights now so that you don't need to squeeze your hands in later. We place the grill on the bumper and align the clips to the holes on the body of the car. We then test fitted and moved any clips that seemed out of alignment. We then pushed the grill into the body and then pushed everything one last time to get that final click. Finally, install the top two push clips. That's it, you have installed your grill. Admire your work and be sure to test your turn signal lights. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like this type of content.